Day and today I'm here with a, another unhaul video for y'all. I have a total of six books I think that I'm getting rid of back to the thrift store because I have way too many books and not enough shelf room so I've decided that if I give a book less than 3.5 stars then it goes on back to the thrift store so that's what we're doing today. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book I have a disclaimer to make. Please don't hate me for it. It is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I'm getting rid of this one because I just recently got another copy of it to match the rest of my set because this one was completely different from all the other ones. So that is the only reason why I'm getting rid of Harry Potter. Please don't come for me in the comments, okay? Thank you. Next book I have is called The Lucky Ones by Tiffany Rise, and I actually did really like this book. It was really entertaining and suspenseful when I was reading it, but it wasn't really anything super special, so I figured I'm never going to reread it, so I might as well send it back to the thrift store so that somebody else can enjoy it as well, because it was good just not amazing. The next book I have is Cadaver and Queen and this is by Alyssa Quintney. Quintney? <laughs> Authors names are hard. But again, this was just one that I found entertaining at the time of reading it, but it's nothing that I'm going to need to read again. It's a Frankenstein retelling and I personally love retellings, so I was hoping for more from this one. I believe I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars, so like it's an average story. Just nothing super special again. The next book I have is called The Dangerous Art of Blending In, and this is by Angelo Sermelis, and I did really like this book. It's an own voice story about a Greek boy who has very controlling parents, and I did enjoy it, like I said, but it was very hard to read. It's a very emotional book, and I just don't want to go through the pain again, so I'm a give it to the thrift store and hope that somebody else can enjoy it as well. The next book I have is Revolution and this is by Jennifer Donnelly and this is a historical fiction book about the French Revolution which interesting to read about but very info dumpy. Never gonna reread it so off to the thrift store it goes. And then the final book that I have here is 50 Cent's Playground. Yes, 50 Cent wrote a book and although it was entertaining while I was reading it I'm never gonna reread it. It's a middle grade book about a boy named Butterball who is a bully and it's kind of the story of him redeeming himself and changing for the better. It was cute but I'm never gonna reread it again so hopefully someone else can get their hands on it and enjoy it more than I did. Alright guys so that was my unhaul video. Let me know down below if you've read any of these and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!